Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Head Chef Mom. I'm Kendall Lawrence and I am home for the holidays. I'll be, um, I'm off on the winter break and I'm home alone. I'm going to make myself um, some lunch. This is just for me. So we're going to, I'm going to make myself some roasted red pepper sauce and put it on top of some kind of pasta that I have in the house. I don't know what kind yet. So um, this is a quick roasted red pepper uh, deal. So let me go over the ingredients. So I have some jarred roasted red, roasted red peppers and you can use the fresh, of course. I've used the fresh, but I have these in the cabinet and I'm home and I didn't want to go out. Um, I'm using one can of tomato sauce and one can of petite diced tomatoes. You can use fresh, of course. I've got an onion here. I'll use about half of that onion. I've got some garlic powder, some chicken broth, some fennel seed, some <clears throat> uh, red pepper flakes, some basil, dried basil. You can use fresh. I've got some dried parsley, some salt, some pepper, and some olive oil. So I'm going to get my onion chopped up and we'll, we'll get over to the stove. Okay, so I've gotten my onion chopped up. It, it doesn't have to be too, too fine because I'm going to dump this in my... Um, little food processor and I've sliced up my roasted red peppers I drained them and sliced them and I'm gonna just put them in here uh -oh. and I'm gonna get some onion in there onion and I'm going to just put a little bit of olive oil on it And I'm going to pulse this for just a second. No, oh, wait. And I want some garlic. Gotta have some garlic. Now I'm gonna pulse it for just a sec. Okay, so I've pulsed this. I just hit the pulse about two or three times. And I like it a little bit chunky. You can make it as chunky or as smooth as you want to. But um, it's still, you know, got some texture here. And that's what I like. So I'm going to get this in the pan. Okay, so I've got my pan heating up. And I'm going to add my um, sauce here. I didn't realize it was that hot. It's not that hot. And now I'm going to add my petite diced tomato and give it a stir. And I was going to add the tomato sauce. And, well, I'll still add some. I, I thought about just foregoing it for right now um, because it's really just me going to eat this today. But I'm going to put it in a fridge and I can use it later in the week um, on top of fish or chicken or... Um, anything it's really versatile so it's not just for pasta and I'm gonna add some basil and some garlic powder I make such a mess in my kitchen and I'm gonna add a good amount of fennel seed I love fennel in this and some red crushed pepper and you do this to taste or don't do it at all a lot of people don't like eat my family does especially my youngest son now his heat I can't handle and some salt and some pepper and I'm going to uh, put in some parsley and stir it up and I'm going to let it simmer up. Oh, I'm going to put in some uh, chicken broth and you, you do this to the thickness that you like. So stir it, do it a little at a time and stir it and see if it's as thick or as thin as you want it. And I like it right where it is. Okay, and I'm going to let this simmer on the stove while I go see what kind of pasta I have and make up some kind of pasta. Okay, guys, here's my completed 
pasta with homemade roasted red pepper sauce and it looks really delicious i'm hungry i'm gonna dig right in i grated up some uh some fresh parm i'm gonna top it with that and you can add any protein that you want to this um it, it it's great with shrimp i told I, I don't know if i told you that but i like to do this and put some shrimp in there that's really good too okay let me dig in because i'm starving you can even put beans in this too Mmm. Oh, so much flavor. Mmm. And that fennel, you gotta put that fennel in there, guys. That's really good. And there's a little kick of spice in there from the chili flakes. That's so much better than spaghetti sauce to me. That's really good. Hey, if you're at home and you want a nice, comforting lunch that's not too heavy make this and if you make it let me know how you liked it and before i go i want to shout out a channel that i've been liking a lot it's called bradley's baking bible and um, because it's the holidays i'm going to try to do some baking you know i don't do baking really um but i have been checking out some baking channels and this guy is awesome bradley's baking bible he makes the most beautiful baked dishes, baking baked goods that um, I almost have ever seen. And he's got some beautiful holiday recipes. So if you're going to be baking, go check out Bradley's Baking Bible. And I'll put um, an I card on this video so that you can link up with him. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and go feed your family. And eat this for lunch. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.